welcome to Donji Krajevic in Croatia for the opening round of the 2023 Speedway Grand Prix. Be ready to go, it's tricky. It's difficult, yes it is. My goal is, is the same every season. After, after winning three world titles, you can't you can't then say, oh, you know, this year I want to finish third. I want to be world champion. I'm not looking to, to be better than, than the other riders. I'm just trying to be the, the best version of myself that I can be and, and race as good as I can. Then we'll see if that's good enough to be number one. go out there on the track I want to win every race and uh, I think everybody's the same that's why we're we're the best riders in the world. So there's 16 of the best riders in the world and that's why they're here they're, they're here to win Grand Prix and obviously try to be a world champion. You know, last year when, when I won the two in a row, it, it just happened so easy. And to be honest, I feel like I'm riding so much better than I was last year. I need to give this Grand Prix series a big crack at this year, and I know it's my last chance. You can't have too many wild cards. And I've had uh, two wild cards in the last two years, so I know that it's down to me to, to make it work. I've changed tuners for this season and I feel a lot happier and we worked a lot over the summer side, side in, the, in the heat in Australia to, to work on uh, performance. But no, it's good to get back on the bike. He's ready. I just had a great winter, you know, I rode, you know, as many bikes as I could, you know, raced a little bit in America, some speedway and some flat track and uh, then a lot of motocross and uh, just, just had a pretty fun winter. And to be honest, we've done a lot of work to the end, to the end of last season to try and, uh, you know, progress a little bit more and, uh, you know, I think we're pretty happy with where we are. set to go racing but unfortunately it is raining at this stage so disappointing after the wonderful weather we've had all day i had a good pre-season had a good speed in my bikes uh, we tried to improve my starts it's been a little bit my issues over the last couple of years i think they're going to be better and uh, I, I need that for sure to, to win the world championship You have to remember, uh, I have had uh, struggles with the COVID and post-COVID for almost the past three years. It's been, it's been really tough for me. Uh, and, uh, you know, that relief to be healthy has been such a boost for, for me and for, for everyone uh, around me. And also with my team, now I have energy, we can test things. Uh, we've been working a lot behind the scenes to try and progress. First TP, you know, you never fully know what to expect, so it's cool just to get get going again. It's important to start out well and uh, don't have to chase from the beginning of the season. That's, it's never fun when you're, when you're a little bit behind all the time and you, you feel you have to chase all the time.
had a really tough uh, race week leading up to Croatia. I was racing both on the Thursday and the Friday and a lot of traveling, so I really didn't have much time to think and might have been a, a good thing. And it was a tough track, you know, we had a lot of rain. Uh, it was a tough evening for, for a lot of riders and myself included. Here comes Ling with Randy outside. Can he get out? Yes, he can! Superb start from fast Freddie Lingwin. I only had one point after two rounds and my inside gates were, were gone, so I really had to dig deep to, to get the points to get into the semi. <laughs> fast. My, my starts were pretty good as well so uh, a lot of work's gone into the off season to, to get ready for this year and um, yeah we're, we're still testing stuff, we're still pushing forward, there's still room for improvement so um, yeah it's positive. Semi-final two is Frederick Lincoln, who selects the white gate position. So there we are then. What a lineup in semi-final number two. Incredible lineup there with Smartek on the inside in red. Beauty alongside him, who was undecided there. I'm surprised he gave Smartek the inside gate. in the final. I knew where I wanted to be on the corner but as Bartek came up in front of me I was I was watching him which way he was going to go and I missed the point where I should turn to stay on the inside. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, Freddie capitalised on that. It's a disappointment for Woodford and the damn beauty. Here we see it now. Smiles like through to the final joined by Freddie Lingwood. Yeah I felt really good you know. I had good speed and just uh, you know missed out a little bit in the semi-final but uh, yeah, for sure. Compared to like one year ago, it was uh, much better, and uh, you know now I feel like I belong in the GPS. So there we go. Then the first final of the year. Smartwick, the world champion, off the inside in red. Lambert off gate number two in blue. Lingwood out of gate number three in white. And Jason Dove uh, off the outside in yellow. Here we go. That was not a good one, but so is Jason, Jason Dove. Best gate, made a great start, closed the door too much on, on Bartek and uh, hit a rut and it took off and that was pretty much me done and dusted. Uh, had all, all my eggs in one basket. If I made that corner, I would have been on the rostrum. Yeah, obviously, we can see Bartos is still in good form, riding very well. I raced with him in, in the league in Poland and he's on top form. He's very consistent. He, he rarely have an off meeting. So you have to be at your best all the time. Yeah, I'm just glad I got the points on, on the table, points on board, uh, and that's it. Uh, it's in the history books now, and we move forward. He's only a rider. Um, he's a world champion. I'm a world champion. Wolfie's a world champion. There's loads of world champions. What, can still go out there and, and win a Grand Prix and win the world title, but injuries play a big part of it as well. Um, so long, long series to go.